this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. That's what he's trying to show by the love one. That's why when you know, I read the opening scripture that when it said there's neither Jew nor Greek, there's neither bond nor or a, a slave or free. There's neither man or woman. You can keep on. You can use that list the whole thing. There's neither black nor white. There's neither child nor adult. There's neither Chinese or Russian. There's neither. You know. I mean, you can go all the way. It's saying is. If you be in Christ, then you are heir according to the promises. Amen. It's, it's not based on our gender. It's not based on our ethnic. Yeah, uh, it, it, it removes all prejudice. Come on, brother. Completely. Come on. It, and that's what most of this stuff is based on. There is a prejudice against others for one reason or another, and they're all external. Every yeah. last one of them. And that's what blows my mind. Yeah. But the bottom line is, love supersedes all of it. Come on, brother. It eliminates every prejudice known to man. Every prejudice. And that, that's what he's trying to tell us. We need to be able to understand, we need to love one another. And 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 that's what people are looking for. There, there's a... Our God is not dead. And I think that's something that I have a tendency to just overlook sometimes in my attempt to figure out what he's saying or what he wants me to do. I forget to just ask. Yeah. He says in the scripture, my sheep hear my voice and another day will not follow. I, you know, weirdly enough, it doesn't say my sheep read my scriptures and another day will not follow. Because <laughs> you, you can misinterpret scripture, but yeah. you can't misinterpret his voice. Come on. And, and that is the thing I think that is going to bind us together once we get accustomed to doing that because we're not. It's, it's a learned behavior because first off, when we were born, we didn't know it. We couldn't hear his voice. Second off, when we are able to discern his voice, it's a be learning behavior to stop, try to think our way through and actually go to him and see what he's saying. Right. It's almost, it, I tell you, it's so simple sometimes it seems impossible. That you can just go to God and ask him, well, what do you want me to do? Or what would you have me do? And that was Paul's question. Lord, what would you have me to do? Well, we think about the, the first century of the church. Those guys did not have the Bible that we have. Yes, sir. They had none in the New Testament. They wrote it. So Peter says, I was in Joppa praying. And he saw in a vision. So even though Peter had walked with Jesus three years, he still had to pray to get direction from the Holy Spirit. Right. They wanted to go into Asia. The Holy Spirit led them in another direction because they were praying and asking for direction. Right. And I think that a lot of our problems come that we do sit down and we intellectualize and we try to discern through our own, you know, reasoning what it is that God is literally saying. When it's as simple as asking him, what are you saying? Yeah, one of the things is the fact that when I did, did the proof that those are characteristics of behavior, not laws, turned the rigs of the behavior of a man. Amen. Amen. And, and, and that's something that you, and that's why when I like what's the, the Galatians 5, 20, 22, and 20, 21, 22, and it starts off as the fruit of the spirit, those characteristics, love is the first one. So in other Amen. words, he's trying to say that you should apply love in anything that you do toward seeking God feel towards your fellow man. Is what you're doing selfish or is it out of love? Yeah. That's that's the critical piece. And here's the, here's the uh, scripture I wanted to start off with here. You know, but since you started, you can go ahead and read those that slide from it. Okay. I gotta move my just just one second. And Brother Jackson, what I did is I cut, I, I, I actually went and um, cut the slide up a little bit <laughs> so it can read uh -huh. to the whole thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's uh, more. As he read, I'm going I'm to I'm drop it down to the next one so he can finish that particular slide up. Amen. So, Elder, go ahead with that first, Elder. 
Right? The Lord is not slight concerning his promise, as some men count slightness, but is long suffering to us, with, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And, and that's, I like that part of the fact that God is saying, Look, I want us to, 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 to have patience toward one another. That's where long suffering is, right? And he's willing that you don't want anybody to perish. That means that's the same thing for us. We don't want anybody to perish. Mm -hmm. But we do all want everybody to come to repentance, to, to change your behavior. And that's why I think that, that Romans 12 about renewing your mind. Renewing your mind is repentance. Amen. For the of God. Go ahead, Elder. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. Come on now. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. Come on. And this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world. Come on. That we might live through him. Come on. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us. Come on. And his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Yes, sir. The it's Lord is not slight. It's eleven. It's eleven. I just cut it up. I just cut okay. it up. Verse eleven. Love, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. Yes. No man has seen God at any time. Come on. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and His love is perfected in us. Come on. Hereby know we that we dwell in Him and he is in us because he has given us of his spirit yes sir yeah Elder, i got the other side but i'm gonna go ahead and stop there you want to you want to break that down for us if you like i, th I think the thing that, that we, shared, we shared earlier is, is pretty much evidence than that god is love jesus christ manifestation of love he says god is the christ is the manifest image of the invisible god so the spirit that is god that is love is manifested in the lord jesus christ if we are his disciples and if we are of him, then we're going to manifest in our behavior the same things that he did. If we tr figure, if we're trying to discern whether or not we're following that, the, the right voice or not, and we're hearing his voice, then we can look at our behavior and see if it's literally lining up with what we already know of him. Was he obedient? Yes. Was he obedient unto death? Yes. Was he loving? Yes. Was he forgiving? Yes. Did he hate anybody? No. <laughs> did he beat anybody down aside from the ones that were in the temple? And the reason for that was not for his own game, but for someone else, for the Father's game. Yeah, so he lived to bring glory to the Father. Yeah. He lived to bring glory to the Father. And we have been called to bring glory to him. It's not our, it's, we're not doing this for our sake. That's why, you know, I think turning the other cheek is not something that's going to be done for my glory, but it'll be done for the glory of God. Amen. That that person may be drawn to the Lord. So those are the expressions of love which are not a part of our nature. Our, our innate, unregenerate nature does not have that element in it. And I think somebody mentioned Darwinism earlier. Yeah. And I think that's, that's more descriptive of who we are. We're like animals that seek our own survival. That everybody else is caught that in and of ourselves. Right. But when we are born again of the Spirit of God, now we disseminate our strength to edify and uplift everybody else. Yes, sir. And, that was it. and like I said, God is love. And matter of fact, here's the, other, here's the other scriptures to that, Elder. Uh, I had to break those slides up again. That's why I stopped on it. 14. And there's two slides that I broke it up. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him. Come on, and man. he in God. And we have known and believed that believe the love that God has to us. God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein our love is our love make perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world. Praise yes, God. Sir. Yes sir. There is, eight, there is no fear in love. Come on now. Perfect, perfect, perfect love cast out fear. Come on. Because fear has torment, he that fears is not made perfect in love. Come on. We love him because he first loved him. Yes. If a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. Wow. But he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, 
How can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God loves his brother also. And I like, you know, I like the fact is that when, when, uh, the, when we talk about injustice in this case we're talking about with the police brutality uh that comes in the situation where it said i will fear for my life that that means you're operating outside of love because love casts out fear Amen. Amen. love doesn't go to a parking lot you all saw that news this week i think it was this week the last week where they they arrested where they didn't arrest, i guess they detained uh, a family or a lady with girls in his car. One was like three years old. And, and, and the brother Jackson, they, 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 they pounced on the car with guns, weapons drawn. You know? And, and, right. and not not to say, hey, um, ma'am, I'll pull you over because we got a report. And then somebody told me, what did you have it? Uh, somebody told me the other day, but, but I asked them, they were looking for a stolen motorcycle. And went to a car. What? How? How, how in the world? If you're looking for a particular type vehicle for pull over a family of, of a woman with, 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 with children in the car, draw, weapons drawn, Tell them to get out of the car. Put it a little three-year-old girl on her stomach and put handcuffs on her. And you're looking for a motorcycle. And you said that's your those those your those your uh, techniques of how you you're supposed to deal with a hostile takedown. Well, what 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 in the world are you talking about? Well, you know, uh, to take this a little bit off off topic, you know, that that's the part of the issue with um, the, the confusion. I'm using the word confusion very, very loosely, okay? But the confusion about using police and how they're trained. It's just like, again, us in the military. You know, we, we're not meant to be used for, uh, to keep peace. You know, we're, we're meant to, you know, hold somebody down. We're meant to suppress, we're meant to uh, overcome. And that's the problem, you know, when they started the, and truly the militarization of the police and training them at the way that, that, you know, more so how we would be trained in order to handle a hostile foreign force. That's part of the problem uh, that, that, that they have. And in that situation also, some of the technical tools that, that they were using, probably what happened is, is the stuff that they had in their vehicle hit that license plate, which gave, one bit of information, even though they were looking for the motorcycle, that license plate was on that vehicle. And so then they don't know what the situation is. And probably having dealt with other individuals who have been hostile to them, hey, we're just going into training mode. I don't even have to think about it. This is what I do. You know what I mean? Uh, it's almost like uh, I say muscle memory, but you know how training is. You don't think about it. You do what you got to do because if you think too much, that's how you get hurt. And so, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, they, the police, they gotta, they have so much work that they need to do um, to, to adjust to how they're gonna deal with the public. And, um, and uh, you know, different localities probably gonna have to come up with a, a different group of people. Um, because if they continue to use the police as they are, um, I'm gonna tell you something, uh, you, you know, I've heard too many people say, hey, you know what? <laughs> it was good for the goose, good for the gander. Yeah, and, and, exactly. and, and we don't want that. You got to want at, that. At, uh, and I agree with you. And this is a, a sore subject for me, Brother Jackson. Um, they're being taught that their lives are more important than the lives of the people that they're protecting. And, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and so there's no no switch for that but see yeah. they expect civilians people out in, in in you know average average citizens to be able to click on and click off their reactions toward them and they're not, mm -hmm. they can't return the same Come on. Mm -hmm. you know they approach 
on on level 10. Every situation, every scenario, you know, uh, is pretty much at that point. I'm not saying they're all, they all are, but when you look at what's going on, it's pretty close to, you know, most of the, the, uh, the situations to where they need to, they have a uh, mentality of apprehending somebody or something like that. Um, 